Um, in an increasingly volatile world, where the virtues of tolerance and acceptance among humankind appear to be marred by varying differences in religious beliefs, social capital, economic thought, political perspectives, or cultural practices. Inclusive systems, more so inclusive education systems, are of paramount importance. Inclusive education transcends the mere provision of equal access to educational opportunities. Summarily, it extends to the provision of equitable physical access and very importantly, institutional programming, which ensures that all students, particularly those who have been traditionally excluded or marginalized, are afforded a fair opportunity to flourish and maximize the potential. It is recognized though that the development of inclusive systems and inclusive education sectors are quite complex and necessitates multi-sectoral strategies and targeted shifts across all levels of society. Material to this are public sensitization, advocacy, and capacity development. The Ministry of Education is cognizant of this and has invested in those areas through initiatives such as the Education Quality Improve Improvement Project, also known as EQUIP. Through these initiatives, significant strides have been made in fostering greater awareness and acceptance of persons with special education needs. Substantial investments have also been made in capacity development both infrastructurally and institutionally. From an infrastructural standpoint, the Ministry of Education continues to enhance the physical infrastructure and capacity of schools to better accommodate learners and other relevant stakeholders with physical disabilities. Infrastructural designs and newly constructed schools are equipped with ramps, washroom facilities, and other disability-friendly considerations that should foster learning environments that are non-discriminatory. Similarly, substantial investments have also been made under the EQUIP in enhancing institutional strengthening at our schools and capacity building of our educators to more adequately cater to the learning needs and abilities of students with special education needs. Which brings us to this celebratory event. This evening, we celebrate the successful completion of a professional development certificate in special education by an additional cohort of 75 educators within our nation's mainstream schools. This substantial investment speaks to the commitment of the Ministry of Education to the development of an education sector that is more equitable, inclusive, and adequately responsive to the diverse needs of our learners, with particular attention to those who have been traditionally marginalized, especially our learners with special needs. One too many of these valued students have traversed our nation's education system, not having received the appropriate interventions or support necessary to allow them to reach their full potential. It is a reality that the Ministry of Education continues to address with much resolve. The global call to education for all is one that the Ministry of Education is committed to and does not take lightly. Pursuant to this agenda, it is vital that our nation's educators are equipped with the necessary skills to respond to the varied special education needs which our students live with and that they are provided with the appropriate strategies, tools, and support necessary to best attend to and satisfy their instructional needs. Towards this end, and in partnership with the South Lewis Community College, this specialized professional development certificate in special education was offered to the additional 75 mainstream teachers gathered here this afternoon. 
The ultimate goal being that every mainstream teacher within the purview of the Ministry of Education will be somewhat exposed to this program and position and better position to understand, empathize, and attend to learners with special education needs within the mainstream or mixed ability classrooms. The Ministry of Education is therefore pleased that Safa Lewis Community College has partnered with us to facilitate the delivery of this specialized program of training. The Ministry applauds the Safa Lewis Community College for taking this step and reiterates the need for the continued overall enhancement of the institution's programming such that programs are more relevant, current, and adequately responsive to the dynamic need or the dy dynamic nature of the field of education. More so, the continuously evolving professional development needs of educators and other relevant stakeholders within the local context. In this regard, the establishment of a strategic partnership between the Ministry of Education and the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College is an imperative. Graduates, this training, sorry, the Ministry of Education commends you for agreeing to pursue this training and for your continued commitment to the continued development of our nation's education sector. The Ministry celebrates you on this occasion and steadfastly looks forward to your implementation and transference of knowledge gained as we collaboratively work, collaboratively work together to strengthen St. Lucia's education sector and society by extension. If there ever was a time where such partnership is crucial, it is now. Whilst numerous hurdles and obstacles will undoubtedly arise, I encourage you to consistently draw on the lessons learned over the course of this program and approach the students within your purview with renewed zeal, patience, understanding, and empathy, empowering them to be the best versions of themselves. The Ministry of Education congratulates you once again and thanks the Safa Lewis Community College for its partnership in this strategic agenda. Let us continue to collaborate and work feverishly towards the overall transformation of St. Lucia's education sector in the interest of our nation's children, our communities, in the interest of St. Lucia. With this, I say, welcome one and all to this graduation ceremony. I thank you. I stand before you today full of pride and admiration for the dedication and commitment that you have shown throughout your journey on the Professional Development Certificate Program in Special Education. Today marks a very special, significant milestone for you, not just in your professional lives, but in the lives of countless of students whose paths you will shape and transform in the future. The Division of Teacher Education and Education Leadership at Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, in collaboration with EQUIP, has been at the forefront of a groundbreaking initiative. We have established ourselves as a national training facility in special education, bridging the gap between specialized knowledge knowledge and practical application. Through this initiative, we aspire to revolutionize the landscape of education in St. Lucia, making it more inclusive, responsive, and empathetic to the unique needs of every learner, especially those with special educational needs. As educators, you are the architects of this transformation. Your commitment to this cause has equipped you with invaluable knowledge, skills, and insights that are not just confined to the classroom, but resonate deeply within the hearts of students who teach. Special education is not merely a field of study. It is a beacon of hope understanding and acceptance of those who need it most. Your role as a special educator, education teacher goes far beyond textbooks and lesson plans 
it touches lives, it nurtures, nurtures dreams, and paves the way for a brighter and more inclusive future. In delivering this program, this program for the second time, Sir Arthur Lewis Community College has catalyzed change. We have nurtured your passion, honed your skills, and empowered you to make a tangible difference in the lives of students with special and educational needs. The, the expertise that you have gained here is not just a qualification. It is a responsibility, a sacred trust bestowed upon you by your students, their families, and our society. I encourage you, teachers, to carry this touch of knowledge and compassion with pride. As you step into the classroom, remember the, transform the just transformative power that you possess. We all do as teachers, as educators. Embrace the diversity of your students. Celebrate their unique abilities and create an environment where everyone feels valued, respected, and supported. Your journey does not end here. It evolves as you continue to learn, to adapt, and innovate in response to the ever-changing needs of your students and also of society. I, as the newly installed principal, I am convinced, I am confident that you will rise to the challenge and inspire change. Congratulations once again on your remarkable achievement. You are not just graduates, you are ambassadors of inclusive education, advocates of empathy, and champions of every learner's right to education. Thank you teachers for being so dedicated, and I wish you all the success in your noble mission to make a difference in the lives of those